Five seasons on the hit show Brothers and Sisters, and now he's playing a Russian spy in the critically acclaimed series The Americans. Take a look. Please don't blame what he did to Annalise on me because you know things like That's this happen. It saying. is unpredictable, and that is exactly why I do not want Paige ever entering into this. Philip. I don't want her putting people into a suitcase, and I don't want her ending up in a suitcase. Don't you dare. I what would never put her in this position. Happen? What do you think will happen? You think she'll work some cushy job for the CIA, the NSA for 20 years, nothing else? Why not? That's what they need. Until something changes. It always changes. It always changes. What do you want, Philip? A guarantee that life's going to be easy? For my daughter? Yeah. Please welcome Matthew Reese. It's a hard one to dance to, I agree. That's what I thought. So you're wearing uh, something on your lapel there. What you got there? I am, I am. Um, to us, it's a leek, a leek and a daffodil, or a very large scallion, as they say in these parts. But mm -hmm. it's, it's to celebrate St. David's Day, which was Sunday, which is the patron saint of Wales. So traditionally, we wear a small root vegetable on our breasts. I see. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really a small root vegetable. It's no, a large one. Yeah, it's I mean, it's prominent. Yeah. Yes. It's a, like a Brussels sprout. I don't know if that's a root vegetable. That would be a smaller thing. Yes. Though. No, we have, we have the, um, the daffodil as well, as, well as, the, as well as the leek. It's uh -huh. a choice, but I thought I'd put Yeah, I like it. Today. It's oh, very nice. Good. And it, you really, it's a, it's a conversation starter. It it's really a, is. Or, because... an en or an ender. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People look at it and go, yeah. yeah. No, it's really nice. Um, this is, I'm a huge fan of the show, The Americans, and uh, what an amazing uh, American accent you have. Is that, uh, well, you, you were on Brothers and Sisters also. I was, so. I was. So if I didn't get it right, Sally Field would crack me over the head with right. a spoon usually if, yeah. I wasn't, if I wasn't pulling my, um, pulling my weight. Is that, do you keep the dialect the whole time, or do you, when you break, go back to speaking your native tongue it, de it depends it depends if if i'm a bit tired or if i hear it slipping then I'll, I'll i'll tend to sort of stay in it or sort of impersonate a, a tv personality from my youth because we sort of we grew up watching american television and who who did you watch when you were growing up you know ba baracus was a, a big influence for me but it's a sort of from the 18 but it's, it's a tricky one to impersonate for um, any other any yeah. other character yeah mr t was my guy yeah. um <laughs> So you were on Brothers and Sisters, but you almost quit and, and joined the army. Was that like right before you got it, or? Oh, that was it. Was that was a long time ago. I'd had a, I'd had a long spell out of out of work in London, and I was working in the theatre quite a lot. Um, and I'd I'd been out of work for a long time. I'd been rejected for another audition. I was walking past a, a recruiting centre, and there was a very nice sergeant. I had a chat with him, and he said, "Come on in, have an interview." I had an interview, and I think. The officer who was doing it was incredibly suspicious as to why someone who'd been working as, a, as an actor for five years wanted to join. Um, so a week later, I got a rejection letter from the army as well. Wow. So, yeah, it wasn't... It wasn't it was a bad it, time for you. It wasn't my greatest... Yeah. No, no. Even rejected from the army. It was bad. It was bad. Yeah. I've played a soldier since, yeah. so I feel I've been I've well, good. vindicated. Then you got to do it. I did. Yeah. So let's talk about the Americans. I don't know if you've seen the, uh, the show, but it's really good. And it's uh, you and Carrie Russell and uh, your spies. We are. And it's... All based on truth. Uh -huh. uh, when the KGB were in uh, Washington in the early 80s, uh -huh. pretending to be Americans. Uh -huh. uh, it's sort of almost inconceivable that you, you know, you'd pitch this as a, as a TV show. Go, that would never happen, but it did happen. Yeah. Um, and the crazy things that they, the KGB actually did try at that time was like marrying um, secretaries with low-level security clearance and crazy things like that. Well, and then your kids have no idea. You have kids and your kids think they just have, you know, parents and they have no idea what y'all are doing. They have very absent parents. You yes. Know, we're, we're rarely around and when we come back in, you know, we're usually very tired and we've been out all night and they, yeah. they wonder what's going on. But at the moment, they're, they're sort of blissfully ignorant yeah it's amazing and you and carrie there's lots of uh there's romance there's uh, you know it's everything oh, it's everything it's everything it's suspense it's adventure it's romance it's great it's a really great show oh thank it's you it's really good i'm thank a big you. fan well thanks for being here and come thank back you. and visit us uh with a root vegetable or not any <laughs> anytime love to all right the americans airs wednesday nights at 10 on fx we'll be right back